Well, here we are again. Welcome back to the basement. Thanks for checking in. This is Killian Murphy. Very nice to be back on the radio again. Hope everyone is well. Not much has changed here in the basement. I am still surrounded by uh, boxes of CDs and unopened letters and loads of middle-aged tat. We're going to be doing pretty much the same thing as we did last year for this new series of shows. I'm going to play you some music and then I'm going to talk for a little bit and then I'm going to play some more music and then I'm going to talk for a little bit. And that's pretty much it. That seems to be the um, golden formula for radio. You know, one thing I have been thinking about a lot since I've been on the radio is the utility of music. And it got me thinking about how the utility of music for me has changed over time as I've gotten older. And perhaps that change has been accelerated because of the last weird 18 months. Because when I was younger, music was just purely about celebration, really. Celebration in how I consumed it and when I played it. It was just really about getting loaded and having a good time. And it was very much about rhythm and groove and euphoria. But as I've gotten older... I kind of begun to value all the other utilities or possibilities of music. You know, like music to provoke, music to stimulate, music that puts you in a different place. I kind of like when music pushes you around a bit. You know what I mean? It makes you feel uneasy. It kind of gently bullies you. <laughs> so you'll be hearing some of that in the show, as well as some very beautiful, serene music and some proper euphoric music. There'll be some old music, some new music, and then a bit of talking and then a bit more music. For example, those three pieces you heard at the beginning, I really love how they just talk to each other and they, they make me feel a little unsettled, you know? And then they kind of resolve into this longing in a kind of a weird David Lynchian way. Those Three tracks that you heard were, first you heard Christina Vansu with a track called Lair 10. Christina Vansu is a composer and an experimental filmmaker. She's from Kansas City and she lives in Belgium now. And I first heard her when she was one half of Dead Texan. And Lair 10 is from an album called Multinatural, which was released last year in 2020. And then you heard F.S. Bloom and Nils Fram with a track called Day 2-1. That was from an album called Tag Eins Tags Vi, which means day one, day two, <laughs> for all you German listeners. And that was from 2016. And then finally you heard a track called Just Me and You. Beautiful kind of weird girl group pop from the 60s. That was from the Dreamliners. Right. Now we're going to go to France. Colleen is a French multi-instrumentalist and her real name is Cecile Show. The track you're going to hear is called Captain of None which is the title track from her album from 2015 that was on Thrill Jockey. I think you'll like this. <laughs> 